Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming out in two days, but one thing that they have stated is that there's going to be timed side quests in this game. And what that means is that you'll be doing certain side quests and you have to complete them on time because if you don't, there will be negative effects. Now, it's not quite sure how the timing is going to work. Is it going to be like in game time or is it going to be like it's going to be measuring progress on other quests? So every time you hit like a certain point, that's a tick of time. Not quite sure. But the example they gave is there could be like a child that's lost in the woods and you have to go do that quest. And if you go running off into to do that quest and then you see oh there's a graveyard over there let's go check it out if you spend too much time dilly dallying yeah you might not be able to find that kid in the woods and that could have negative repercussions so what it's saying is that don't just grab every quest that you for instance if you're in skyrim or in most other games you just grab every quest that comes your way right and then you just do them in your due time one of the things about the original Dra uh, dragon's dogma was that quests were locked to game progress so depending on how far you were, you could unlock certain quests or you were locked out of certain quests. The game was relatively short, so you were it was designed that you would play it multiple times, but they wanted it, each playthrough to feel unique. And by doing that, they were like, we don't want you to do all your quests in one playthrough. We want you to very think about which quests you're taking and then those are going to lead into other quests or whatever. And so all that's in consideration. So I'm personally very happy that they went with this route because this is how I wish more games would do it. I, I remember when Cyberpunk 2077 was coming out and they were saying, we want Cyberpunk to be a lot shorter than The Witcher 3, but we want it to be much more replayable than Witcher 3. And I was hoping that we would get like, oh, okay, your quest choices matter because depending on which quests you do, if you like say, do a quest for th this person, then that's going to lock you out of quests for people that don't like that person later on. But then in your second playthrough, you can do the other side of the story. A shorter story, but more impact on the choices that you make. So two playthroughs feel like completely different games, lets you experiment. So I'm hoping that's what they're doing here, but we will have to wait and see. Now, not all quests are time locked, so you will be able to know which ones are and which ones aren't. That'll give you a little hourglass icon to tell you this is a timed quest. You need to complete this as soon as possible. Don't worry about how am I supposed to know if I can take my time or not. It'll tell you. But yeah, I'm very excited about this feature. So, Yeah, and that's uh, still true to the first game. As you said, I was surprised when I was supposed to get one of the villager girl, which was lost in the wood trying to help you. And then, you know, I was trying to, I went to this wood after a set of time. I can't find this girl, how come? And I just realized I've said, no, you took too long. You progressed too much into the story. This girl is back in the village. She came back a long time ago, right? Okay. So now it's a good way to keep true to the first game, but bring some, some new tweaks to it. So nice. 